robust intellectual. He was a wonderful colorist. It's all around us, always stretching his own horizons. Hassel Smith is one of the major uh, West Coast American um, painters who really helped develop abstract expressionism. We're so happy to have him in the silk mill. This is one of the first uh, real shows that he's done over here. Some of the paintings that are in there have never been hung. They benefit so much from being in this, in this context, in this setting, in this beautiful space. I think the paintings and the silk mill suit each other very well. I've asked four other composer performers down uh, to do our own musical, new musical response uh, to Hasselsmith's artwork. So we brought all the stuff down, there's quite a lot of things for us to bring down we've been setting up and some people have been um, sort of playing with the instruments and looking around the space coming up to us asking you know wow what's what's this you know is this to do with Hassel Smith's work it's quite a sort of surprising thing to do to make the instruments sort of part of the exhibition because we really want to feel like uh, it's kind of they kind of meld together, the performance and the paintings. Yeah, that's fine. And then repeat that. I think instead of having me just like nodding all the time, it just might be nicer if you go based on hearing me. I've enjoyed it hugely, almost sentimentally. It reminds me that the energy and the interest in these fundamental ways of working and relating to the tradition, they're all still alive in young people. What I really loved was the way that the acoustics of the building lent themselves to all the weird and wonderful toys and instruments that the musicians used. The Silk Mill is an arts project in the heart of Froome that provides studio space for artists and also provides a great gallery service that um, can be used for all kinds of creative events. It's a great joy to sit there and to enjoy an evening of music and see paintings like this and, and be blessed by that natural light that comes in through this sort of glass rooftop that, that's in there. I can't see a future without it being quite a significant part of the festival in the end because it's such a nice space for musicians to perform in and for paintings to be hung. The Fruit Festival is a massive group of events that happen over um, the first uh, 10 days in fact of July and um, it's the busiest that you'll ever see Froome. It's all things to all people. That's what's brilliant about the Froome Festival. It's not one thing. It's not a jazz festival. It's not a highbrow festival. It's not a music festival. It's everything. But whatever art form you do, there's a place for you in Froome. That's what I love about it. was really good. I really enjoyed it. I don't get nervous at all when we're performing because I know the singers are really good. They know their stuff. The Silk Mall is becoming more and more involved at the Fruit Festival. It's becoming a key time of the year for the, for the Silk Mall. We've had um, loads of music events this year and they're going really well. Uh, this year we've trialled our first acoustic night in the gallery. Things were getting kind of fruity so we took a couple of bottles of wine back to my parents' house while they were away. And one thing led to another and... Uh, thank uh, okay, that's it, yeah. Thank you very much for that. I think people really enjoyed the evening. I don't think I've had a bad night out in Froome in the last few years. I find it very hard to, to not enjoy myself. Away by another, they were to be married. It's 
to be quite honest, I can't really find a word to describe it, which is why I've actually brought the popular Oxford English Dictionary with me. It was outstanding. It was an outstanding night. Um, I really enjoyed it. And that means, um, if, any, if anyone under 20 is watching this, it means it was totally sick. We've got a visitor's book and it's been really nice reading it because I've read visitor's book in, books in the past and although they're, they're almost always complimentary, um, they don't normally say so much about the space and I'm really happy with that because we feel that the space is really special and it's nice to see that other people think that too. It seems as though the majority of the comments say, great work, great space, which, which is just perfect for us. The concert's been designed around the paintings of Hassel Smith. So we've chosen pieces that were written around the time that he was writing, pieces that I feel sort of complement his work. Maracas, a frame drum. Uh, most interestingly, the gongs. I've got two gongs, one of which is a water gong, so it gets dipped in the water, and as it does so, it, um, the pitch changes. Well, Cage went to uh, a university, and he entered a, an anechoic chamber, a chamber where you can eliminate all sounds, and he wanted to hear silence. It's, really, it's, not, it's less about us and more about an audience member, really, and what they do and what they think and hear. There is something incredibly special about being allowed to experience time. I found that quite nice, actually, because it was kind of like, oh, something I don't usually have in a normal day. I don't know, it's just really nice to just sit and take in everything. Yeah, it was really, like dramatic, but still kind of like, ah. Oh. The best part of it was the fact that you could hear someone's phone vibrate halfway through, and I thought that was a particularly kind of contemporary touch. One noise I really heard was Dad, and he kept going like, <gasps> and then I kind of listened a bit more, and there were loads of other like different noises, and they kind of made their own instruments in a way. The exhibition's been really great for us and great for Froome. There's been a community buzz around the exhibition um, with the events that have gone alongside it and also it's brought in a lot of national attention. We've had people from, from everywhere come to see the exhibition because he's such a great, great painter and they love his work. I would love to see more activity, more interest, more um, understanding. I think maybe these paintings are so enhanced by this space that that could happen. I felt that right from the beginning when the paintings went up. And I said to my son Mark, as we were going at Hassel, would have loved this. <laughs>